giveaway time! To celebrate my 200 subscribers here on YouTube, I'll be giving away another $50 to one of my subscribers. But all you have to do is watch the whole video and follow the mechanics at the end of this video. with another vlog and today 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 it is cooking time for this video I will show you how I like and how I cook my steak we have this uh, enormous steak we have this uh, 750 gram dry aged ribeye so what is dry aged dry aged is right there so basically what it does it takes away some of the moisture and or the meat and makes it more tender Guys, first we're gonna season our steak. Here we have pink pepper and salt, so that's how I like my flavoring for my steak. So what do you do? You want your steak to be seasoned evenly on both sides. So yes. gonna cook the steak now with this kind of thickness of the steak will probably take two to three minutes per side so we're gonna sear it first in a hot pan and it off in the oven later on and then we're gonna put olive oil we're gonna sear our steak now so we're gonna sear it both sides remember and that's what you want to hear you want to hear that sizzle let it sit there, let it do its job. Let's see, so sit back and relax and wait for it. So we're gonna flip the steak now. Look at that. See, that's the sear that we wanted for the steak. It created a good crust and that will trap all the juices inside. And that's the technique for a very, very juicy steak. So now we're gonna add some rosemary, just to add for the flavor. Rosemary and some knob of garlic. We seared both of the sides of the steak. What we'll do, see this uh, outer layer of the steak? We're gonna sear it as well so that we can render the fat and it will add more flavor to our steak. So, yeah, sear it the, all of the sides of the steak. So right now, we've seared the steak. We're gonna transfer it in this tray. So we're gonna cook it, finish up in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. And, and then we're gonna add uh, a knob of butter. Unsalted butter, because our steak are seasoned already. So add that, add that on the side, and We'll finish it up in the oven. So while our steak is cooking, I'm gonna prepare potatoes. So basically, steak goes with potatoes. I'm gonna show you how I like my potatoes cooked. It's just simple. So basically, a roasted potato, pan-roasted potatoes with uh, shallots, chives, and garlic, and lots of loves. So for me, I don't want to peel the potatoes for me gives more flavor so what I do just stop and tail it and just get rid of the, some of the skins from the side two different kinds of potatoes so it's just for texture of the potato some of them are really dense some of them are really fluffy some of them could be chewy so get some get rid of some of the skins and just diced it up so 
So yes, keep cutting the potatoes like that. It doesn't matter how you want to cut the potatoes. You want it diced, you want big chunks like that, or you want it to be thinly sliced or julienne it, doesn't matter. So I'll probably use uh, four mini potatoes. That's for one serving. Will good for, it will be good for three to four people. Potatoes, I like it with uh, shallots, some chives, garlic, butter, and some herbs, and lots of love. So with this amount of potatoes, probably I'll put two shallots, so this is perfect. So I diced up some uh, shallots, and next I'm gonna do some chives, and with the garlic, I'm not gonna chop it. All I wanted to do is just tap it to release the flavor, and I'm gonna put it just like that. It's time to cook that. Potatoes. So basically, you know the pan that we use for this to sear the steak, we're still gonna use that. So we're gonna use a garlic and rosemary olive oil. So we're gonna add to the pan. Yeah, we'll add the shallots first. So shallots in, in, and the garlic. As well. Try to deglaze in the pan. So this is just a rustic roasted potato, pan roasted potato. Now that, guys. Nice. You can really smell the garlic, the shallots, and the rosemary. This is how you want your potatoes to be like. Now, once our uh, potatoes are almost cooked, we're gonna add our chives. So, put all our chives in. And we're gonna add another knob of butter. Yeah. There we go. Whoopsie. Right now, our potatoes are cooked, so we set aside. We set aside. So we'll check our steak. Where are you? Hi! Hi, steak! So for you to check the doneness of your steak, all you have to do is actually touch the palm of your hand. So basically this one, like this, touch this. That is rare. You are rare. Do this way. Touch it again. That is medium rare. Another finger, that is medium, medium well, and it's really hard ready, hard and bouncy, that's well. Rare. So check the doneness of our steak now. So it's around medium rare to medium. So it's basically right there, in the middle of that. So we let it rest for five to 10 minutes. Let it rest, don't touch the steak anymore because uh, we're gonna let the juices inside so that it won't come out. And we're gonna have a very, very juicy steak. So, sabi nga sa Tagalog, pagpahingi na, marami siya pinagdaanan. So, ating pagpahingahin ang steak. So, yes guys, malapit na natin makain ang steak. So, while waiting, probably two more minutes. So, while waiting, I have a knock-knock for you guys. Knock-knock! So, let me be the one to break it up So you don't have to make excuses We don't need to find this setup Where someone wins and someone loses We just have to say our love was true But it's now become a lie So I'm telling you I love you one last time and goodbye. Where's the steak? Well, it's a big mistake letting you go. So yeah, we're hoping that it will be uh, medium rare to medium. Because for me personally, I like my steak medium rare. But I'm gonna share this with my family. They want it medium to medium well. So yes, yeah, so. Uh, don't be afraid to make a mistake. So sometimes you'll overcook it or sometimes you'll uh, undercook it. So as life, uh, as a life saying is, keep on going, keep on learning. When you learn new things, you apply it next time. So maybe next time, mas maganda luto natin. So we'll cut our steak now. Yum. Oh yes. 
that's the way we like it. Ha, ha, you like that? Mm-hmm. Mom would love this. Look at that. That's the way we wanted it. Medium to medium rare. So we'll plate now our food. So we'll do. We'll put the potatoes first. That's our rustic potatoes. And now we add our steak. And put some black garlic, black garlic salt. Finish it up that. Just a tiny bit. Some chives on our thing. We'll finish it up with truffle oil. my steak so it's medium rare to medium so let's try it mm. Mm -hmm. so there you have it guys this is how I do my steaks and chips so, but it's a rustic potato uh, pan roasted potato and dry aged fried rice. So, hope you like it and hope you enjoy this video. If you like more of this kind of video, please continue to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like and share this video if you want. So, thank you guys. God bless us all and don't forget to take it easy. So to celebrate my 200 subscribers here on YouTube, I'll be giving away another... <laughs>